I don't know if that guy was telling me the truth or not about banning books. I want to ask the librarian. Hi. <laughs> you're just about, I see you're recording and you're about to walk in the children's section. Oh, is, okay. Uh, is that okay. just that area or well, yeah, all the way just, back? It's very not okay to like, yeah, film. I don't wanna get, yeah, I don't want to get, yeah, I don't want to get them on film. Okay. Yeah. I, I meant no offense. Okay. No, no. Thank you. Thank you for telling me because I don't want to do that. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna stay out of the kids' area. I am not interested in getting any kids on film. Wow. It's so neat to see all these books that you could come in and read for free. It's amazing. It's so much better than Google. I'd much rather come here and open a book and find stuff out than be stuck with my phone in front of my face every second of every day. So yeah, it looks like as I was recording back there, um, I hit a button and it stopped, so I had to restart it. <laughs> I wasn't editing anything or trying to get things. Wow, it's so nice. There's not a lot of people here. I wonder if it's this dead all the time because libraries are dying. I mean, I don't know. But yeah, I guess this is a kid's area. I want to stay out of here now or nonfiction. Okay. Good books. Very cool. There aren't many people here. I'm surprised. When I used to come to this library when I was younger, before the internet. <laughs> yes, I'm very old. Um, <laughs> it, I don't know. Things were so different. Things were very, very different. I don't know if people still go to libraries because everyone can just Google it. But I like opening up a book. I like the way they smell. I like, I don't know. I like to have it in my hands. I don't know, am I the only one? Let me know in the comments. Will this be the first ever audit where nothing happened? <laughs> and everyone actually knows the law? Amazing. Maybe, uh, maybe these guys got that, uh, what is it, that uh, Homeland Security memo in 2018 that they sent to every police department across the country about First Amendment auditors and how they're not supposed to be baited into anything or whatever. So I don't know, maybe they got that memo. Woo, I'm getting sweaty in here because I'm nervous. The ceiling is so cool in here. I would love to just put like a hammock like up there in the corner <laughs> and just live here. <laughs> I actually, I'm gonna share this with you guys. I actually just got 10 years sober from heroin in October. So I haven't done anything wrong. I've been a law-abiding citizen for over a decade, so. This is my first time getting back out here and being around, I don't know, being around people. COVID kind of messed me up too because I stayed inside for two years and didn't leave the house. Movies. I need to know like if they offer any services here. I know they do copies. I want to find out what we have to do to get a library card, like if you have to be from Percocy or what. But we'll figure that out. Okay, what's this? Someone's office. Okay, what's the here? So this is their office. Oh, what a cute little palm tree. I would imagine that this is a restricted area, so no, I am not going to go in there. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty dead here. I'm surprised. 
when I came here when I was younger, it would be packed. Like before the internet, it would be packed in here. There'd be people everywhere. It is a Monday though, so who knows? Ooh, I wanna find out something. Okay, let's see what we have to do to get a library card. I do remember that in the library you have to be quiet, but there's really no one here, so I hope you guys can hear me. My phone, I don't even know if it's like clear or if you can hear my voice right. I should have practiced this before I did it, huh? <laughs> Ooh. Star Wars Extraordinary Droids. Um, yes, please. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Very cool, very cool. Of course, I'll tell you what, Star Wars was a lot cooler before Disney bought it. Kind of like YouTube, how we can uh, use curse words now. Everything has to be PG, apparently. Like, why can't we just have like rated R on camera? <laughs> you know, can I ask you something? Why, why does the camera bother you? What's that? We are going to ask you to not video record while you talk to staff. I can't hear you. We're going to ask you to not video record while you talk to staff. We're happy to help you, but, but we are going to ask you to turn off the video recording. Okay. Well, this is a constitutionally protected activity, so... As is my right to not be filmed. Well, actually, I don't need your permission to be filmed because there's no expectation of privacy in public. I thought the Perkins Library would know the law, but... No. We, we, are, we can't assist you while you're, while you're video recording. We are going to ask you to turn off the video. Okay. Well, yeah, there's no expectation of privacy in public. Like when you go off your private property into public, that um, you're on cameras everywhere. You're on cam, uh, car cameras, security cameras, body cameras. You're on camera everywhere. There's cameras here, right? Because any citizen can request the footage and watch it all day long if they want it. I mean, it is a taxpayer building and you get paid with our tax dollars, right? So as such, we're allowed to come in and see what kind of job you guys do. You're not allowed to video request staff. Okay, that might be your policy and library policy, but I don't follow the library policy. I don't work here. I follow the law, like the Constitution of the United States. Do you guys know what that is? Like the First Amendment, to free press, freedom of speech, peacefully protest. Yes. I'm an independent journalist, so I'm just getting content for a story. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, there used to be an amusement park here. Like, that's what the merry-go-round is from. Okay. They had, like, a log flume ride on the side of the steep hill. But they had to close it because people kept getting hurt, and then someone got killed. So they had to close the amusement park. But that's like the pool was part of it. The merry ground was part of it. That's so there's like a lot of history happens. here. Does recording our staff, is that necessary for the story? Um, yeah. People are curious as to how, you know, you treat the public, if you treat people with respect. You're not allowed to video record staff that is considered... That's not the law. If you don't know the law, I suggest you call law enforcement and ask. Because I spoke to my civil rights lawyer before I ever came here. I'm not just walking into this. That is what we will need to do next. It is considered harassment of staff. No, you can't call the camera harassment. You can't call it disorderly conduct. You can't call it harassment. It's a First Amendment protected activity. We are not the executive branch of the government, which is what your First Amendment right protects. Like, we're not making a law in this is a library, right? Taxpayers pay for the building. Taxpayers pay for the public servant's salary. We're allowed to come in here and see what kind of job you guys do. I mean, I'm not here for that, but like, okay. I'm, I'm protected by the law in several different ways. You know what I mean? Like, I believe in the Constitution of the United States and law enforcement knows the law. 
And if they do their job, they'll come down here and explain to you guys what the law is and educate you that I am right and that you're misinformed. It's as simple as that. <laughs> like, I've been, you know, I'm calm and cordial and I'm being nice to everyone. I'm not being, being disrespectful or well, getting in the way of business or bothering patrons. Well, I think my coworker did feel kind of disrespected by being. Uh, Unfortunately, when he takes a job that's paid for with tax dollars, he gives up his right to privacy because everything about him is public record. His picture, his email address, how much money he makes a year. I can go to the town clerk and FOIA request all that. So, like, <laughs> what's the difference? You know what I mean? It's really like, I mean, Google's your friend. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just Google it. Is it legal to film in public in the United States? Yes, it is. It's it could be taken care of really easily, you know? We don't want to antagonize you. I don't want to antagonize you either. I'm not here to instigate. Well, I'm not here to get, like, try to bait you into anything. Okay, well, how about this? Yeah. Is there any additional footage that you need for your story? Um, well, I'm walking around looking at stuff, yeah. Okay, but, like, I'm saying that, like, you have walked around. You have right. filmed. Yeah, I'm going to look up a book. Like, I'm going to, oh, you know. Can I help you find that book? Sure. That would be awesome. What book are you looking for? <laughs> um, I guess a book on the First Amendment or the Bill of Rights. Either one of those. So you want a book about the Bill of Rights? Yeah. We can't provide assistance while you're recording us. What's that? We cannot provide assistance while you're recording us. We have asked you to stop recording us. Right. But it's not, I'm not breaking the law. I'm allowed to do this. <laughs> we do have somebody else who needs to assist. What's that? Oh, and I'm sorry. Go ahead. You may not, you may not record it. What's that? You may not record our information. I'm allowed to record anything my eyes can see, ma'am. There's no expectation of privacy in public. Everyone knows that. Well, this turn. <laughs> I thought I was gonna come out of here with nothing. Everyone was so nice and look how this turned out. And this is the Percocy Public Library and this is how they represent Percocy for visitors coming in here. I live here and I don't feel welcome. How is someone from Philadelphia gonna come in here and feel welcome? <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> Hello. Uh, hi. <laughs> hi. How are you doing? Good. May I have your name and badge number, please? Yes. Is, can we talk outside? Sure. Yeah. No problem. I didn't know they were sitting the cutest cops in Percocet. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> now I'm glad you're here. <laughs> I am Sergeant Lombard. Okay. And uh, badge 5613. Okay. Um, I guess they called, they think it, this is harassing as far as. Um, the gentleman that we talked to when we first got here said that it was being put right in his face and he was trying to stay away from the camera and stuff like that. Putting a camera in, so I don't want to be rude, but could, putting him in your face would be like in your face. Okay. No. I'm all the way back here, father. And I have it on film. Right. So. See, the thing is that there's no expectation of privacy in public. You guys know this. Do you have your body cams on? Yeah. Or? yeah okay. No. So. I don't Same understand. We don't have to announce it when we come in here. Even private, at this point, is such commonplace that we don't even have to announce it when it's your house anymore. So that's how commonplace body cameras are. Right. Um, now you would because it's a little different, but so, you know, I guess, it, you know, as far as policy, of course, they don't have anything against it. Right. Um, so I kind of, I mean, not explain it fully to them yet, but. I told her that if you guys did your job, your law enforcement, you will educate her on the law. I'm protected by the First Amendment in five different ways here. You know what I mean? The Supreme Court already ruled that this is a constitutionally protected activity. Our tax dollars pay for this building. We pay for their salary. We pay for your guys' salary. We have the right to see what our public servants are doing. And I have the right to come in a library if I want. And she can't discriminate against me for a camera. Well, this can't be disorderly conduct. It can't be harassment. The Supreme Court already ruled that. Yeah, I get that. Um, and I'm not so, trying to give anyone a hard time. Uh, I don't want to do that. that. That's what I was hoping. 
you know, because like I said, there's, you know, certainly there's a fine line between something that's legal and something, and, and as far as it being almost illegal harassment and illegal harassment. Does that make sense? Like, you know, like you said, as far as you put the camera right here, it's legal. You can have that it right would be, here. I would consider that harassment. But that'd be I would never do that right? to someone. So you understand where I'm talking about as far as that gray area yeah, where yeah. it's like, okay, um, annoying somebody to the level of it being illegal, there's a little bit of that gray Right, area, like where the know? First Amendment end and disorderly okay. conduct begins. Correct. I know it's Correct. like okay. cop discretion so I just pretty make much. Sure that you, you were being kind to people inside, correct? Oh, yes. Yeah. I have it on camera. I'm being okay. the same way I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to them. Okay. I'm not trying to do anything wrong. I just wanted to come in the library, take also, some pictures. Like, I'm an independent journalist. Okay. I'm doing a story on Bucks County, but Percocy especially, because there used to be an amusement park here. Yeah. <laughs> That's where the Mary Grounds from. There was yeah. a loud crew right over there. Yeah. And it got closed because someone got killed. Is so there's what, a lot of history here. Is that why? Yes. I knew someone got killed. I didn't know why it actually got closed. Really? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, on the flu ride. Is that what it was? Yeah, there used to. I had a book from, I remember. It's just, that's weird. Uh, Sorry. He's like history, like from Percocy forward. Like, yeah. And it had all that stuff in there about the bicentennial and the, okay. the park. And I think it was like a log flu ride. Yeah. And the, that uh, went down yeah. the, like the, the stone tracks that are still there. I've only seen a couple of the uh, old pictures. Yeah. Um, but, I've seen a few too. Yeah, I grew up here as a kid and just, uh, you yeah, know, the old trolley and stuff like that. And that's yeah. why, yes. you know, there's some kind of skating rink. Or was something. there? Yeah, some yeah. kind of, uh, yeah. I think it was roller skating. I, I, ice skating or roller skating or something like that. right up here. I don't remember a roller skater. I was here from 75 to not, uh, 89. Okay. Yeah, like I don't get children on film. Okay. <laughs> he told me he's like, you're good, you're about to walk into the area of children's area. I was like, no, 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 that's not what I want to do. That's not what I'm about. <laughs> um, listen, you understand I get called out here. Right. And what were you, you called for? Like suspicious activity? Um, somewhat. I mean, they're trying to word it as more harassment. Okay. I, think I was, um, you know, I'm gonna say pretty upset. You know, he said he had his clipboard up and yep. he was trying to hide himself and right. you know, he just wanna let him go and you know, wanna let him be. And, uh, so Yeah, I asked if they could help me find books and they said that they won't help me while I'm filming. Okay. <laughs> Which you know They can't do that. This is a public building that I help pay for. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean we're used to cameras. I understand being scared of one. But we're on camera everywhere we go. Are they scared when they walk into Giant? Do they go up to customer service and say, I feel I uncomfortable, for, please I, turn your cameras I, I, off? I guess for Giant, it, you know, but you have to understand too that for Giant, they kind of know that the cameras aren't going to be on YouTube later that night. Or but the thing is that any citizen can FOIA request any footage for 40 bucks and watch it all day long. Can I? Yes. You go to the town clerk, FOIA request it, and you get footage. I get yeah. your body cam. I could get anything. Yeah. I need so, to get this, but like, you're, you're talking about like for Giant? What do you mean? I can't go to Giant and ask for footage, can I? No. 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 That's what I'm saying as far as... Yeah, that that's a public building. Hang on one second. I'm going to go off body cam just to answer this, okay? Okay. Hey, we're not calling out. Uh, we're okay here. Sorry about that. Okay. Yep. Thanks. Yep. Is he a bowling alley? Yeah, the bowling alley. Yeah. Yep. Like, am I being detained? No. No? No. And I was going to ask for your information. You don't have to give it to me, but my chief likes a very thorough report. I understand that, yeah. but she's trying to break my first amendment right, and I'm not going to let you break my fourth. So since she's your my no, ID, no, I'm allowed to hear. I know unless you know. I've committed a crime or unless I have reasonable artic yeah, unless you have reasonable articulable suspicion that I am did am or am going to commit a crime. Oh, that I, can, I can request it from anybody, but as far as yes, demanding that yes, of course. Right. Um, I'm only requesting most people don't know their. Yeah. Are you used to people knowing their rights, or most people just hand it right over? Um. No, I think it's, um, I think most people, even 
I think most people do know their rights now. Okay. And even the people who um, know their rights and know they don't have to do something right. are still very willing to. Okay. Um, but it doesn't offend me if people are like, no. no. Okay. If, um, if I ask for consent for the search of vehicle. Right. Because yeah, I have reasonable suspicion but not probable cause. Okay. Um, if I ask for consent and they say absolutely not, have a great day. Okay. You know, it's just, it doesn't offend me that people okay. know their rights, you know? And, um, Good. That's it, awesome. It is something that it has, it's not that it's changing, but it's something that we have to continue to stay up on case law and stuff like that. So, right. You know, you have been the nicest police officer I have ever seen. Wow. <laughs> I've watched a billion YouTube videos of those people that we've do seen that. Some, yeah. we've seen and, some and a lot of them are very antagonistic and, and like Direct D, I don't know if you know him, but he'll go cop watching. And he is a little he does kinda cross the line. Yeah. And yeah. I don't want to be that or do that. No, and, and, and that's the thing. That's why I was asking as far as, you know, where are we on this as far as um but no, you're you're good to go. Okay. I'm sorry you guys are called out for this. Yeah. Did you explain it to them? Yeah, actually. Right. Yeah, they, they, they understand. Does so, one okay. to talk to them? Thank you. Uh, I didn't talk to them. Okay. We're going to get talk to them. And, uh, no, all right. This okay. And if you, tell you I'm going to take you over the pictures. I'll be out of here. I'll if bounce. If you change your mind and you want to give me your information, because the chief's, you know, mm -hmm. I'm just going to put the report that I provided to you just in right. case you want. Could okay. you write the call number on the back of your phone? Uh, I have everything except for the last two numbers. Okay. And certainly if That'll you work. just give the address, we'll have it. Okay. Thank you. You guys have been so nice. How long have you been an officer? Yeah, four months. Really? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's nice area. What's your favorite part about the job? Maybe people. Yeah. yeah. Seeing people. Yeah. Only, the yeah. Only the last two wheels. Okay. That'll All right. work. Thank so. you. All right. All right. All right. Thank Take you care. so much. Yep. Bye. Okay. Hey, Troll. Yeah. That was uh, Sergeant Mumbauer, and he was freaking awesome. Here we go to educate the staff, and then I'll be out here and I'll leave. Okay, one more time, we go through. Let's see if we missed anything. Oh, thank you. Okay. Walk through. One more time at the ceiling because that's awesome. Yeah, so I guess um I guess they got educated. <laughs> How do you think I did? Oh my god. <laughs> I think I got the nicest police officer on the planet. I really lucked out on my first audit. I really did. But okay. We can bounce. I didn't want to be here for hours. And now that they're educated and they know the law, maybe they won't do this to someone else the next time they come in. So this was it. Oh, everyone's hiding now. Well, that's their right. If they don't want to be in public, they can go in private. I still wanted help with my books, but I guess they're not going to. Should I push it and try to get one or just leave? I'll just leave. I'm glad they got to educate you on the law. Have a great day.